Coulter, I was in Bozeman for the Bobcat game a couple of weeks ago, and while I was there, I went over to the corner of Jackrabbit and Baxter and headed into the brand new Cathedral of Guns, Selway Armory. It was absolutely phenomenal. Their new store in Bozeman is everything you want and more, including a Sig Sauer store right in the Selway Armory store. Got a c- some confusion from a couple people that listen to this podcast. They said, what is Sig Sauer? <laughs> and they spelled it like cigarette. <laughs> but no, we're talking Sig Sauer like S-I-G-S-A-E-U-R. Some of the best handguns you'll find anywhere. They're experts when it comes to Sig Sauer's, as well as all other handguns, as well as all other firearms. Locations of both Missoula and Bozeman. But get your butt to that new Bozeman store. It's a beautiful store, unbelievable inventory, and those guys are experts. They'll help you find whatever it is you need. Hunting season, recreation, we all have people on our Christmas list, or maybe it's you yourself. Yes, I must say, once in a while it's nice to get your own self a present. You go in there, all of the guns, ammunition, accessories that you could imagine in culture, as you mentioned. Absolute experts. They know everything there is to know about the entire inventory they've got. Online, SelwayArmory.com. Montana is a gun enthusiast state. It's a hunting state. And Selway Armory is Montana's firearm superstore. Take the Selway Armory Challenge. Shop with Selway Armory for a year. Guarantee you're going to save money over the big box stores or anywhere else you might shop. Do yourself a favor. No matter where you're from in Montana, if you're making your way through southwest Montana, go see that new Selway Armory. And if you're in Missoula, go check out their location out Stockyard Road. Selway Armory, great products at a great price, along with world-class customer service. All right. I got places to be, so let's go. Coach, thorough victory. I mean, from the very first play until the very last play, you basically just whipped their butts. How would you guys do it? Yeah, you know what, man? You just don't draw it up like that. In a rivalry game, you know you're going to get everybody's best shot. Uh, you know, obviously the turnover early was impactful, but as I reminded our young men at halftime, you know, hey, we, we were in the same spot a year ago. You know, this team is more than capable of coming back. They've done it multiple times during the course of the season. They'd kind of gotten behind early in some games and uh, showed a lot of grit and came back, and so we were certainly aware of that. But uh, our ability to control the line of scrimmage was, was critical in this game, and I think that was really the difference, um, us being able to find a consistent way to run the ball and then uh, you know, pass the ball efficiently, which was the goal. You know, we, didn't, we didn't have to come in and throw for 300 yards. We needed to come in and, and uh, make those clutch throws in critical situations to keep the chains moving. And, uh, and obviously, I can't say enough about our offensive line or our defensive line. And um, both those sides of the ball showed through today, and it's uh, – very gratifying victory, obviously, and uh, means a lot to, to this university and to our seniors. Um, I think this is the first class in 42 years to walk out of here never losing to Montana, and that's a, uh, a pretty special thing. Montana this year has generally been the more physical team, especially last week. They really were. You were more physical, period, in every facet all day. Why were you able to be that today against that team? That's who we are every week. I don't, you guys probably don't watch us very often up in Missoula. Every week we are. Every week. So, you know, watch us a little bit more. Get us on Root Sports a little bit more. You might be able to find out, you know. Maybe we're not that bad. But uh, you're not the team you were yesterday. You're not the man you were yesterday. And so this was all about living in the present, doing what we had to do to be successful today. And, and uh, you know, you get nothing for being the most physical team last week. And I'm sure Bobby would say the same thing. It was all about you know, settling between the white lines. Like I told our guys, you want to win this thing, you got to control the four corners between the white lines, and after that you can control the four corners of this state. And so that's what this was about. The emotion your guys played with from start to finish, how important do you think that was? It means a lot to them. We need to carry that momentum and that emotion. This can't be a sometimes thing. You know, it's one of the things our seniors talked about a year ago is that how, how important it was to them that, you know, their advice to me was you need to treat more games like the Montana game. You know, and uh, obviously now it's win or go home from here on out. And I think we certainly have secured a, a, a berth in the, in, the, in the tournament. And uh, let's go. As the game was going on, how much did you get a sense that the run game was wearing on them? Yeah, we were getting four yards on inside zone pretty much at will, you know. Um, the only time that they really gave us any problems was on short yarders and some sub package. And, I think that, uh, you know, Dante, being a really smart, good football player, identified some tendencies and kind of jumped some gaps and hit us a couple times. But, uh, you know, we controlled the line of scrimmage, and that's, that's how you win games. When did you know that Troy uh, wasn't going to go today? Probably Sunday last week. Do you feel that 
Troy being out was maybe a point of rallying for this team? Certainly something we talked about, you know, um, that this guy's, you know, he's, he's made sacrifices physically and playing a different position and um, sacrificed his body for this organization. And, you know, one of the things we need to do is we need to step up on his behalf and, and, and as well as for these seniors because this is, uh, you know, this is a great group of young men. I'm really proud of the senior group, and I'm really thankful that I can look at Braden Conkle, and 25 years from now, he'll introduce himself and say, this is my son, and by the way, I never lost to Montana. Logan Jones keeps stepping up in these all, all time, but especially in these games. Um, what have you seen out of him development-wise in your four years as his leadership and passion has grown? This Maturity year? would be the, the word I would use. Um, you know, just has grown a lot as a man. And I think that's starting to play out in terms of his ability to make plays. Isaiah has obviously been banged up throughout the year, came back a little bit last week, but today was, again, unstoppable. Great offensive line performance, but his performance today. Yeah, I think he was a catalyst for us. I mean, certainly some of the plus one run stuff that we were able to do with him took away uh, some of the sting of not having Troy. But Isaiah's a special back. And uh, I think he just you know, showed his ability again today and was critical in our ability to, to continue to run the ball. Coach, there's a, there's a moment late in the fourth quarter right before your beater in shower. Uh, I kind of saw you embracing guys like Braden and Kevin, your seniors. Is that that moment where you kind of just are able to kind of, you know, you know the wind's happening so you can soak in the moment for what it is? Yeah, I think that's, and it doesn't happen very often, especially around here. We like to play close games. And so um, it, was, it was really neat to kind of get to take a little bit of a victory lap there at the end. Beating them four times in a row, what do you think it is about how you prepare the team that kind of leads you to success? It doesn't mean anything. I mean, every year's different. Every team's different. Um, every matchup's different. You know, it's not, about, it's not about that. I mean, I think we take a, a lot of pride in trying to prepare every week to, to be our best. And certainly, um, you know, when you have a lot of Montana guys and you've got a lot of Montana guys that are seniors that understand, you know, they want to be able to walk the streets and, uh, and feel good about who they are and, and – um, Certainly, I think that uh, they earned that opportunity today. Talk a little bit more about that. I mean, you got, I think, seven fifth-year seniors that are Montana guys. I mean, did you sense it, just the magnitude to those guys preparing for this game this week? Yeah, and I mean, here's the thing. I think it's six, but the thing is, I mean, these guys are the survivors. These are the guys that stayed because it meant something to them to be a Bobcat and wear the blue and gold uh, through the coaching change. And uh, they're tough suckers, and they, I mean, they represent this university in a first-class fashion. They're all going to graduate. They're all going to go on and do great things in their life, and they're all going to be able to walk the streets and, as proud Bobcats for the rest of their life. What does it mean to you to, to have gotten this rivalry to a place that it hasn't been in 40-plus in years? I, you know, I don't really know how to quantify that. Um, I probably never want to find out what it feels on the other side, like on the other side. But, uh, you know, I think, it, I think this is a great rivalry. And obviously what makes it a great rivalry is when there's balance. You know, it's not a great rivalry when one side's dominating all the time. There needs to be balance. And we need to, I think we've earned a, a measure of respect. And uh, certainly that's something that'll, I think, propel this thing forward as even a better rivalry. How does a win like this prepare you guys for the next week or two weeks of the playoffs? <laughs> I think it's always good to go into the tournament hot, you know. I mean, coming off a of victory can, you know, give you some momentum and, and uh, hopefully it can be a catalyst for us to, to, continue, to, to continue our run. Uh, I think this is a really good football team. And I think that uh, if we play like we did today, you know, I think we've got an opportunity to, to make a nice run in the playoffs. Any worry of an emotional letdown after a day like today? No. Nine wins, though. I mean, you guys have a very good playoff resume. So, I mean, what would you say to the committee just in terms of the case for? I don't think we need to make a case. I think we're a nine-win Big Sky team that just beat the number three team in the country soundly, and so I think that that resume will speak for itself. Thanks, guys. Selway Armory, Montana's firearm superstore, is now open for business and hiring all positions. If you want an exciting job with great compensation and one where you can become an expert in the field, put your application in now at Selway Armory. You can apply in person at their new location at the corner of Jackrabbit and Baxter or send in your application via email to employment at selwayarmory.com. That's employment at selwayarmory.com. Turn your passion into a profession with Selway Armory, Montana's firearm superstore.